I give up. <laughs> Howdy, player. Old Pawpaw here. Ice water. <laughs> Fixing to do a Thursday night thump down, y'all. Let me show y'all what I got going on here. Got some uh, Raymond's noodles. Look at that camera a little closer. We concentrate on what we got, Paul Paul. Let's see here. Chopped onions. I got some assorted veggie tables, mainly broccoli and okra. Why? Because it's good for you. Now I got two chicken wings and what's left of a boneless chicken breast that's been fried previously. Alright, let's get Din Din started. Put a fire under that puppy. And let's see here. I put just a hair's worth of, of this uh, sesame seed oil just to flavor everything and a little bit of vegetable oil about a cap full of vegetable oil add a little bit of fresh minced garlic fresh fresh out this hand down then we'll flip it right here. it's New Year's but that's all going to change real shortly because, uh, let's face it, my nerves are just too bad. Uh, my nerves are shot. It seems like Satan's working too hard against me. And I'm already over 60 years old, so there's no point in me going that nutty and crazy time. I'll tell you what, I've had, a, I've had a bad pain in my side for the last five days. I know that ain't no damn excuse to start drinking, but... If I'm gonna have a bad pain in my side, I'm gonna have it while I got a fud. I do believe. That sounds like a good plan to me. Now, you might be wondering, this has got a lot of seasoning on it, but that didn't have any seasoning on it, and that didn't either. You might be wondering what I'm gonna do to season up these here veggie tables and these here pre cooked chicken. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because I'm going in with some shrimp ramen, baby. Let's see let's see No, I hadn't had nothing to drink so far, but like I said, that's all, all that stuff subject to change at any time. Because I ain't getting no younger. You know, if I was if I was messing myself up when I was 20 years old, I might be doing something bad by drinking a beer. But I am 60 years old, thank you. I have worked all my life to get what I've got. And if I want a damn beer, I ought to be able to drink a damn beer. It's crunchy. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Got yeah, here some some uh, let me see if you can see that in the camera. Uh, this is a five spice powder. Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to put about that much on there. That's a lot right there. That'll make it smell and taste Chinesey. You ever wonder what you, when you were in one of these Chinese restaurants, say, oh boy, I wish I could do some Chinese cooking and get my food to have this particular smell and taste. Well, now you know what the secret is. I am not reading this. 
Ooh, smells Chinese in here, Paul. Paul. That's what else can I put in there? I've already put a little bit, so I'm gonna put just a hair more, so it'll have a little bit of a nuttiness to it. And then, and then, and then, and then, we've got to add in some kick. So here's my kick. Yeah, baby, that's how we roll. Put in a quarter. Since it's just me eating this. Booyah. All of that, baby. And that's gonna just about be supper. John. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Smell that. Yes, sir. Need. Mmm. Mmm. Of oyster sauce. Now round it on out. Take it on home, boys. Some good old oyster sauce. up wait five minutes and then come back and check it Done. going in with it right down there is a fire underneath that double boiler this is a double boiler see that all right here's what we shall do we're gonna transfer this whole mess right into the double boiler 